Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for tuning back in for another video. For today's video, I will be reviewing and demonstrating a new styling tool that was sent to me by the company Duval. And no, this video is not sponsored. So Duval is an online brand that sells styling tools, hair straighteners, as well as skincare tools. So today I'm going to be reviewing one of their most popular hair straighteners, which is the Rendezvous Titanium Styling Iron. Now to be quite honest, I've only straightened my hair once since I've been natural and that was not the best experience because the flat iron I had at the time was actually old and it was kind of, I felt burning my hair. So that wasn't a good experience and I really didn't like the results that I got. So I never straightened my hair again. So when this company reached out to me, I was a little hesitant because I hadn't straightened my hair in so long and I don't put any heat on my hair, especially any styling tools or flat irons. Mainly because I'm scared of heat damage and I love my curly hair and I just want to keep my curl pattern. I don't want to disturb my curl pattern. So I am going to straighten my hair in this video just to test it out. I am not going to do my whole hair. I'm just letting you know up front unless it goes extremely well. But I seriously doubt I'm going to straighten my entire hair. But I am going to straighten a portion of my hair just to see how this flat iron works on my hair, how my hair responds to this flat iron, if it straightens it nicely, if it's like bone straight, if it's silky straight, if it looks good. If it does, I'll keep it going, but if not, we're just going to stop and we're just going to leave well enough alone. But I am actually curious how my hair looks straightened because I haven't seen it straighten in so long. So let me go ahead and dive on into the box so I can show you guys what was sent to me and I'll just go over the specs and highlights of this styling iron. So let's get into the packaging. First of all, the box is in a long rectangle shape. It has a stylish matte black finish. It's very cute. It also has the name of the company all over the box, as well as the name of the product that's inside, which is the Rendezvous Professional Styling Iron. And it also has the website of the company at the bottom, which is Duval.com, so definitely check them out. I also like that the box is magnetic to easily open and close it. And inside, you can see that the hair straightener is nicely, neatly, and tightly packaged. The inside surrounding of the box has a velvet feel to it, it definitely doesn't look cheap, it looks very high quality. On the back of the box, it does give illustrated details about the straightener. It shows its highlighted features and functions, as well as different styles you can achieve by using this styling iron. On the straightener itself, it does display the name of the company. And I like these raised bumpers that it has. I'm not really sure if that's the right terminology, but I just call them rubber bumpers. And this just helps to prevent the styling iron or the straightener from damaging your counter, your table, or whatever flat surface you may have this iron lying on from any excessive heat. It also has a 360 degree swivel cord to easily maneuver the straightener to achieve different styles as well as positions. The unique titanium plates have curved styling edges for added styling versatility and its highly polished surfaces move smoothly on the hair, preventing tangling and ensuring your hair is protected from potential damages while reducing static, locking in moisture and giving your hair radiant shine and smoothness. It's fast heating, it has an automatic shut off and it also has variable heat settings. They also gave me a heat glove to prevent burning my hands and fingers because I will do that in a heartbeat. So I just plugged it up. I'm just, well, I plugged it up. I didn't even turn it on. Mm. So I just turned it on and I think I'm going to put the setting on, I'll put it on 410 because it takes a lot of heat for my hair to straighten. And why did I just rub my finger across this hot iron? Wow. That thing heats up fast. <laughs> I was trying to get something off of it. Don't try that at home. If you see something on the hot iron, don't run your hand across it trying to remove it when it's plugged up. So while that's heating up, I'm going to try to figure out what side of my hair I want to straighten. I need to straighten the front, but I'll do the back. I'm going to do one little section in the back here. For my heat protectant, I will be using the Mazzani 25 Miracle Milk. This is the 25 Benefit Leave-In. I'm just going to lightly spritz. So I'm just going to let this dry a little bit. Don't want it to... Uh, don't want to put the heat on my hair in any kind of wet conditions. So I'm going to start with a small section right here in the back, see how it does. And if it goes well, I'll continue to straighten the rest of it. Pray for me. <laughs>
completed straightening the right section of my hair. I had it originally a flat twist, two flat twists in the back. So I flat ironed the right side and I did a little bit of a, a length check. So as far as my length, I am, because I have been cutting at my hair and trimming my hair quite frequently um, because of a lot of knots. Um, but I'm right under my collarbone under my collarbone um, <clears throat> but I will say I did not get the results that I really wanted and it had nothing to do with the flat iron I don't feel like my hair is as straight as it could have been and I wasn't gonna take the temperature up another notch to to uh, do that because my hair was starting to smoke as soon as I put it on my hair but again it was not the straightener it was not the flat iron whatsoever it was just the castor oil um, in my hair and I think and I think I overdid it with the castor oil I had a lot of castor oil in my hair I love castor oil and I apply it pretty heavily to my hair and I think that's what was burning off I'm pretty sure that was what, what was burning off but it was just a lot of smoke and I just didn't want to uh, increase the heat to to get it any more straight straighter so to me it was more like a blowout look as opposed to a really flat sleek bone straight silky um flat flat iron um my hair it's not stiff stiff but it is stiff because of the oil because of the, the castor oil is in my hair so my hair is weighing kind of heavy but the next time i do it i'm going to just i'm just going to do a quick video i'm just going to speed the process up i'm not going to talk through it i'm just going to flat iron my whole hair the next time just to give it one more try but I actually like this flat iron and I like it one because it does give that very smoothness of my hair strands I can see a very a very smooth look so I know what results I can get using this flat iron without this castor oil in my hair so I really love the smoothness of my hair and I also like the fact because it has the curved edge I can get my roots a good as well so I can just lay it you know on my on my roots and get my roots real nice and flat so I really so I really like that but overall I actually really uh, like the flat iron there's no issue no trouble at all I think I might actually do the other side and just get it over with but I can see potential I can definitely see the potential that I can get with this flat iron but I just need less stuff in my hair when I use this flat iron so I really like it I really do it's very I really love the smoothness. My hair just looks, maybe because I haven't seen it straight in so long, I just really love just the smooth look of my hair strands. But again, I'm just going to attempt that a different day. The one thing I will say, I will say that I can use probably another trim in some sections because I see some areas that I actually missed. So I'm actually glad I did straighten it out so I can go back in and get uh, those pieces that um that need to be trimmed so the health of my hair has always been number one and the length of course will come but I have to make sure that I do my part in making sure that one I am trimming my hair like I'm supposed to that's been stunting my growth a lot is the fact that I'm just lazy about trimming my hair and getting this split ends and these uh, fairy knots and things like that. So I've definitely been very consistent in making sure that I keep my my ends trimmed. So the last trim that I did, I actually ended up cutting my hair. I actually had to cut because I could just see the ends of my hair was just looking crazy. Um, so I'm glad that I straightened it out so that way I can see it better. So I will go back in and get a few more areas, like I said, um, and just get that knocked out. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish this section of my hair, the left side. And I'm going to go ahead and sign out. So while I'm doing that, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your evening, rest of your day. I'm going to catch you on the next video. So bye, guys. With the versatility that the styling iron gives you, you're sure to achieve multiple looks. One of the best things about the Duvall Company is how they stand by the quality of their products that they offer a satisfaction guarantee. 60 days, money back, no questions. So guys, if you'd like to get your hands on one of these amazing styling tools, definitely check out Duvall.com and use my promo code JustJanine70. This coupon code gives you 70% off on all styling tools. So happy holidays, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's just Janine, and I will see you on the next video. Bye, guys.